Hey guys, it's your girl Jilly. I have been wanting to do this video for so long because I know a lot of you always ask what's my favorite zodiac sign and what I love about the zodiac signs. So I'm taking a minute before we move on to the next zodiac compatibility series. Right now it is, oh well actually I'm doing this video early. It is March 19th. So if you see this video up at a later date, you'll know why. But I'm taking votes currently on the next Zodiac Sign for Compatibility Series. So make sure you take a vote to see what Zodiac Sign you want to have done next. But while the votes are going on, I want to go ahead and tell you guys why I love each and every single Zodiac Sign. I do have favorites, but I just want you guys to know there is not a sign that I dislike. I love them all and for very different reasons. And I'm going to share that with you in this video. And I've also had people wanting me to do the negative traits or the dark traits of the zodiac. Guess what? I, I'm just not going to do that. Not because I don't think that there's dark traits of zodiac signs. I know every zodiac sign has a negative trait, but I'm all about uplifting people and high vibrations and positivity. And there's a lot of other YouTubers who will discuss the dark traits of the zodiac. And you know what? I ask that you watch them and I want to give them support. Make I want to give support to my fellow YouTubers and I'm pretty sure they'll oblige you. But it's just not my style. I want to spread love. Now, I want to put one stipulation here, guys. This is what I love about them. This is not the generalization about what astrology says you should love about these signs. These are what your girl Jilly loves about these signs. So I'm going to go in astrological order. So let's get started. Aries. I love Aries. Actually, Aries is in my top four favorite. Um, my top favorites are Leo, Virgo, Sagittarius and Aries, but sometimes Aries and Sagittarius will switch those spots sometimes, so it just depends. But Aries, the reason I love Aries, oh my goodness, they're go-getters. When they see something, they go after it. They go after what they want. And you know what? They're really, really um, brave. Super, super brave. I mean, there is nothing that this sign pretty much won't do. The, the fact that they like to seek thrills. They're very adventurous. They're all about getting down to just jump on something new and they're not only that they're very optimistic they're full of energy and they have this youthful exuberance about them that I just love and I'm a super energetic super hyper hype person anyway and that's what I love about them they have this magnetic hip you know contagious energy that I just want to absorb and they're and the thing is they're never that that type that's a bump on a log, they don't ever just kind of sit still like blah. They're never in that blah mood. They always have a ton of energy and it, I like to absorb it because sometimes your girl Jilly does go a little bit blah and I need someone's energy to feed my soul and Aries just does that. They're very confident too. So they have no problems stepping up to the object of their affection, which you have to admit, that's pretty sexy that they take charge like that. Taurus. Taurus. I love Taurus for this one reason. For, for, just so you guys know, my mom's a Taurus and, you know, I, I will say this. Not just I'm not just going by my mom. I'm also going by others' experiences. They have this old-fashioned style of romance that I just love because you know what? Even though I'm a modern girl, I don't like all this technology. Uh, not when it comes to getting to know people. I believe technology has ruined real social skills. The fact that Taurus will actually take the time to study you and get to know you and watch you and observe you to see if you're the type of person they want to get to know. And I'm not talking about romantic levels, guys. I'm also talking about friendship as well because they're also very selective on what type of friend they want. But they like, they're like that old-fashioned type of person. They're very traditional They'll watch them, they'll observe, and they'll befriend them. Like just like back in the old days, they have this lost art of socialization that I feel as a society we have lost. And I love that love this about them. And if it is a romantic connection, once they get to know you and befriend you, they build these little trinkets of affection and they'll give you little gifts. They'll let you know how they how they feel about you, the little gifts, and then they'll come up to you and ask you for a proper date. And this is the type of sign that 
you know, if you're about to get married, they're going to ask your father's hand for permission. They have this old world charm. And I just admire that because that type of thinking is gone these days. Next sign, Gemini. That's what your girl is. Your girl is a Gemini. And I love being a Gemini. And not just going by me, but also other Geminis in my life. We are the children of the Zodiac. We are super, we're forever young, we're forever youthful, and we just always have a good time. We like to talk, we like to joke. We have a very sarcastic, dry sense of humor, so it's probably not for the most sensitive souls, but we love to talk. And our gift from the stars is communication, so we know how to talk to people and really get the conversation going. And I also love the fact that we're always going to be kids, even until we're 80 years old. I mean, I know you guys see me wear my Batman shirt or my video game shirts and me play my video games on Instagram and me just being a goofy person. I love the fact that I have never lost that child, that childlike mentality. Don't get me wrong, I'm still mature. I have a home, I pay my bills. <laughs> but I love the fact that we have that soul. Not to mention, we're very creative. Some of the best artists are Geminis, um, Prince. Tupac. Oh, don't forget Marilyn Monroe. She's a great actress. She is well known. So yeah, I love being a Gemini. Next sign, Cancer. Cancer. I my one of my best friends. Actually, I think she's my best friend. Actually, I don't keep in touch with her as much as I should. Janae, if you're watching, I love you, Mama. Um, one of my dearest friends is a Cancer, and I want to tell you, Cancers are the sweetest, the kindest, most empathetic signs they will be there for you when you need them they are so loving and they just know how to make you feel nurtured how to make you feel important how to make you feel valued because it's genuine affection it's not that kind of fake superficial affection something to make you feel better no they actually really feel what you're feeling if you're happy they take that emotion and they absorb it if you're sad then they're sad this is a type of sign who will cry with you when you're crying. So it's real genuine love. They're super protective of their friends and their family and they're loyal to a fault. So this is why I love cancers. I honestly, I don't think there's a sweeter sign than a cancer. Leo. Leo is my number one favorite sign. It goes for the females and the males. This sign to me is probably my soulmate when it comes to friendship or any type of relationship because every Leo I've been with, I'm not counting my sister because my, my Leo sister, Christina, is older than me, but she tends to still look at me like I'm a little baby and doesn't, yeah, I'm not going to go by her, but I love her to death. I love you, Christina, if you're watching, <laughs> but the other Leos in my life have always been down for my, my playful games, my energetic spontaneity. They, they are playful super playful, just like me. I, I will always refer to Leos as they like to pounce. They like to pounce and play. And I love them to death because they have that fiery, sunny energy. They are ruled by the sun, so they have this light that shines within them. Yeah, they like a lot of flattery, but you know what? They deserve it. I'm telling you, because of their personality, they deserve that flattery. And they're ruled by the heart, so they are very loyal. And they're very loving. They will actually give the shirt off their back to you if they care about you. A lot of people think that Leo is egotistical and selfish, but you know what? They are egotistical, but they're just as giving. They want what they want, but they will give just as much, if not more. This is such a loyal sign, such a fiery, passionate sign. Leo, 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 I love you, love you, love you. Next sign, let's see, I did Leo. Oh, next is Virgo. Oh, Virgo, you're my second favorite sign. And the reason you're my second favorite sign is because most Virgos that I encounter, not all, I'm not going to generalize all Virgos, but most Virgos that I encounter do not like Geminis. They think we are immature and reckless and senseless and we don't have any depth to us. <laughs> but I still love Virgo. Virgo is my number two. And you know why? Every good Gemini likes a debate. We love to debate and converse. And guess who gives Gemini the best debate? Virgo. Virgo feeds my need to converse and debate. 
all the time <laughs> and it's thrill now I've never like by the way guys I've never dated a Virgo or um but whenever I've argued with um a Virgo of the opposite sex I could tell like there was some tension there like some attraction between us and I could always tell that there was something there but it was like a form of mental foreplay so if there's anything you got to know about Gemini, you got to get to our heads before we'll start looking at you like, damn, honey. So Virgo feeds my need to debate. That's why I love them. Not to mention, I kind of like picking on Virgo because they're all about perfection and they're all about wanting everything just right. So I'll purposely like put my hair out of place or I'll pop my collar up on one side just to see if they'll fix it. And you know what? They always do. <laughs> I purposely do this because I like to mess with them. I guess that's the, the immature childlike thing of a Gemini that the Virgos don't like so much about me. But it's fun. I, I've never had a Virgo have an issue with me. So I love you, Virgo. Next sign is Libra. Libra. Again, I've never dated a Libra. But the thing I love about Libra, they're a fellow air sign. They're very charming. No joke, guys. I have met Libras. Um, it's not very common that there's an unattractive Libra because Libras like to dress well and smell well. Keep their they like to keep their appearances good. But there have been some Libras that I have not been physically attracted to, but because of their personality and their charm, I'm like, hey, how you doing? I mean, how you doing, honey? <laughs> and none of them. And you know what? No Libra, no Libra ever asked me out. I don't know why they didn't want your girl Jilly. I guess I was too much for them. But they were, I'm, I'm serious. I would hang on, I can hang on a Libra's every single word. And this goes for male and female. They just know how to talk. They have this charming, regal presence, like this sparkling presence about them. Not to mention they're all about peace and harmony. They don't like to fight. They're really good mediators. They're all about balance and keeping the peace. So I really love this about my fellow air sign Libra. Next up, I believe, let's see, Libra is, let's see, Virgo is August, September, September, October. Oh, next sign is Scorpio. I have had a lot of Scorpios in my life. I've never dated a Scorpio, but I've always attracted them. Um, and don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. I can see why. People will be wanting some Scorpios, <laughs> but Jilly backed away because I, because uh, she knew it wasn't gonna work out very well. And the Scorpio, but I'm telling you right now, the Scorpio females in my life, those women will freaking have your back. They will be some of the best, most loyal friends. And if you know what, if somebody messes with you, you're messing with them, and that stinger comes out. So let me tell you, the Scorpio females in my life have been some of the best friends I've ever ever had I my best friend um, Daniel is a Scorpio I've been friends with him since I was 15 but anyway let's uh, let me move on to why I like them they are without a doubt very smoldering they are very sexy they have this eye piercing gaze that looks like they're about to like hypnotize you like grab the little claws and then sting you like they have this draw to them even when they're ain't but when they're angry no joke they put the fear of God into you because you can see it. They got this intense eye contact. They're very passionate. And I don't want I don't want people to think passionate with sex or anything like that. Like I said, I've never been with a Scorpio, but passionate about their goals in life. Whenever they feel strongly about something, you can see the passion that they have, whether it be their goals, their family, um, their planning. They have this passionate drive that I'm jealous of because, you know, even though I, I have acquired a lot in my life and I've earned a lot, I've never had the, the passion that a Scorpio possesses. Not to mention, they, have, they don't reveal too much about themselves. I like the fact that they're mysterious. I like the fact that they withhold some information because me as a Gemini, I like to go in near them and try to unlock the mystery about them so they have that quality not to mention they have this kind of all water signs have this ability they have this intuitiveness so they can tell when someone's not like not genuine or when someone's being fake they can tell when they can need to stay away from a person or go towards a person so they have that really good intuition so that's what i really love about scorpio let's see scorpio was october november oh 
Sagittarius. Sagittarius, you're in my top three. You are in my top three. And you know why? Now, Sagittarius sits directly across from Gemini. Now, the thing about opposite signs, when it's good, it's good. When it's bad, it's bad. <laughs> but I love, love Sagittarius. You know why? There is no other sign who can make you laugh and smile like a Sagittarius, they have, their, their ruler is Jupiter, the ruler of luck and expansion. So they have this lucky demeanor about them. You could be down on your luck, crying, about to give up on life. All of a sudden, Sagittarius walks in the room and like two minutes later, you, you want to climb on top of the world. That's how great Sagittarius's are. They're great at picking people up. And they're so adventurous. They love to travel. And they want to take you on those adventures with them. And trust me, I'm always up for a new adventure, not spontaneity. And Sagittarius is awesome. For like, they're like, I would say, they were, I would say they're my partner in crime buddy. Like, we would probably have, we would probably have been sandbox playmates and grew up and still getting into trouble. I love you, Sagittarius. That's why you're in my top three. Capricorn. Now, Capricorn has this reputation for being cold and aloof and too serious. Not in my experience. Now, one thing I can tell you about the Capricorns, and I've been, and I've, oh my gosh, I can't even count on how many Capricorns have been in and out of my life. Um, but Capricorns, they are serious. They are very goal-oriented. They have this, they have this focus that I wish I had. I don't have great focus. I, as a Gemini, will admit that I do not have that great of focus. My attention could be drawn onto anything that's shiny and new. Um, and you can tell sometimes when I drag on the videos, I'll it's just from one subject to another. But Capricorns have that focus and drive that I admire. And not to mention, they have that strong, silent type of demeanor that's actually quite attractive. And you will always find a Capricorn in a leadership role. In fact, most of my managers have been Capricorns. Um, and I, I would always ask them, hey, by the way, are you Capricorn? Yeah, I am. And not to mention, they're good leaders. They're not the type of leaders who let stuff go to their head. They know how to manage and create morale. But other than that, once you get under that surface, once you become their friend and they trust you, Capricorns are the goofiest, silliest, dorkiest, dorkiest in a good way, signs. There's this playful clown underneath them that you don't even know is there. But one thing you have to understand is Capricorn's not going to show that side to everybody. They're only going to show that side to people they trust, which is why I love Capricorn, because they're not an open book. They, will, they only save their inner self and their real self for people that they really care about. So I love that about Capricorn. Aquarius. Aquarius. They are the rebels of the Zodiac because one of their rulers is Uranus, the ruler of rebellion. These guys don't give a damn what anybody else thinks about them. Now, any other person can say, I don't care what people think about it. No, Aquarius really means it. They don't give a damn what nobody thinks about them. That's that's attractive, guys. You lady and men Aquariuses, you y'all got it going on. You have that rebel without a cause mentality. But at the same time, you want to make the world a better place. You guys, you might not care what people think about you, but you still care about what happens to the world. You're like humanitarians. I mean, Thomas Edison is comes to mind. Look at all those inventions. He he is responsible for half of the technology we have. We wouldn't have some of this technology we had if we couldn't build on top of his inventions. So that's how Aquarius is. Not to mention they're weird. To me, it, weird is awesome. I love weird people. They fascinate me, and I want to just go near them. And I, because I'm a little weird myself. Only certain people get to see Jilly's weirdness. So I get to be weird with Aquarius. And not only that, now Aquarius won't show all of their sides to them. They're not a very emotional sign. They're very detached. But when they find somebody who accepts their weirdness and appreciates them, even though they don't care what other people think about them, when they find somebody who likes them for who they are, then Aquarius instantly is drawn to that person. And you have a friend for life with Aquarius. That's why I love Aquarius so much. Last but not least, Pisces. Oh my goodness. You guys are the daydream. You guys are magical. To me, you guys are magical. 
every Pisces I've ever encountered, they have this sweet kind of magical allure to them. And they're very intuitive. This is the most intuitive, most psychic sign of the Zodiac. My Lilith is in Pisces, so I can sort of relate to this. But Pisces is the daydreamer. They're the creator, the creators. They're so artistic. They, they love beautiful things. And it's like this innocent little daydreamer that you just, you just absorb that magic quality from Pisces. And I don't know how to explain it. It's like they want, they take you into another world because they live in a fantasy world. So whenever you're with them, whenever you're speaking to them, they take you into another world, their world. When you're talking to them, it's it's something I can't explain. It's something you have to really feel when you're talking to a Pisces. And it's, it's an experience that I hope all of you get to have. Not to mention Pisces is also a very sweet sign, guys. They're very sweet and loving. They really do care about other people. And I just, I adore you guys. I adore you, Pisces. Now, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Now, you guys don't have to agree with everything I said, but I do ask that you keep this positive. I keep positive vibes on my channel. If I see any negative talk about another sign, I automatically delete that comment. If the comments keep coming from that same person, I block that person because my channel is about spreading love and positivity, no negativity. So I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. If you do, please like, share, and subscribe. And hopefully after this video is done, it'll be... Um, voting will be done and we'll move on to the next compatibility series. You guys can always donate to my channel by going to the PayPal link below. I now have Cash App because a lot of you say you use Cash App and not PayPal. So that will also be in the video details. And make sure you click on that bell notification to be notified whenever I upload a video. Also, follow me on Instagram. I talk about my life. I talk about other subjects. I talk about the zodiac and the spirituality and you never know i might do a live stream on instagram and you might miss it because you're not there so make sure you follow me peace 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 i love you